Hello and welcome back guys to another Tinkercad tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to revolve objects or revolve tread in general. Shout out to Steve P for uh, recommending this video idea. I hope all you guys benefit from this and uh, it's going to be a particularly long tutorial so stick around to the end to see the end result. So let's get into the video. Alright guys, to, to get started with this, uh, with this tread what I wanted you guys to do is go into this tab, go down to Featured, and in the top left hand corner, the first thing you should see is Extrusion. Now pull out this Extrusion and put it on the work plan. Alright, so now you have that. Go back into Basic Shapes and pull out a whole cylinder. Just so, just like that. So you can make this any size you want, but I'm going to make it 29, so I'm just going to drag it out scale it to 29 so there and we want to make a hole in this so i'm going to make this 25 27 actually oh that's 29 there we go 27 so now we have this i'm going to highlight both of them use the align tool to align both of them so they're now in each other so if i do this just select that I can drag that up so now that's in the center and now that we've now that we have that you want to select both of them and press group and so now you should have a hole in that so i'm just going to select that there okay so now what we have to do is we have to make the tread to go around it now what we're going to do for this is we're going to drag out a whole box and you just want to drag this small black um, square until it says one or you could just press one enter just like like so so what once you have that what you want to do is you want to duplicate this so control D eight times so one two three four five six seven eight so eight times and what you want to do is you want to grab this and rotate it 90 degrees you want to grab the second one and rotate that one 45 degrees and the third one you're going to rotate that um 135 degrees just so like you're filling the gaps equally and so as you go you're gonna end up you're gonna go to 22 on each so like that uh like that and one more like that so now you have, should have something like this on my screen so once you have that you want to select all of it and then press the color there so now it's a hole so and then you want to select it again so now it's a hole you can group it so now it's grouped all right so now that we have that rotate your cylinder your whole cylinder 90 degrees and rotate this also 90 degrees so now we have this so I'm gonna scale this up to 20 oh, sorry 32 to 32 so you want to scale this up to 32 because you want it to be just bigger than this just bigger than this so you can see so you can actually see the tread like I have on here and on here okay guys so now that we have that the next thing we want to do is we want to make the actual tread that is like you have the lines going through there so what we're gonna have to do with this we have to get another cylinder so grab out another cylinder this is where it gets a bit complex so um, be quite focused here so you don't so you don't miss a step so what you want to do with this is you want just for the sake of colouring, because I'm just one of those people who likes everything to be colour coded. So I'm just gonna make it like this. So you're gonna make it 90 degrees, the cylinder. And you wanna make this 20, oh sorry, 32 also. So now it's also 32. And then we want to make this a hole like that. Oh, sorry, wait. No, so you have to keep it 
So keep it a hole like this, and then we need to get a whole cylinder, or you could just, um, so it's not that complex, just do control D, and then make that a hole. So you should have the duplicate as a whole, and you just want to take it in a couple of mil, so you're going to take it out of there. So go from 32 to, it depends on how thick you want your tread to be, so I'm just going to go 29 for now and then you want to select both of them align it so align it to this bottom one and to this top one here so now it's like this and then hole straight through select both and group so now you have that like that so it should look a little bit like this so what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and make this um, a hole and you want to make this a bit thinner so so this how thin you make this will determine how thin the holes will be the um, gaps will be between between your tread so I'm gonna make this so this is two I'm gonna make this 1.5 so we're going to have 1.5 gaps, 1.5. Alright, so now we have that. And now what we want to do is we want to select both this and this, align it to the center, like that. So now it's aligned there. And you want to shift, shift, hold, and uh, shift, hold, and drag onto there. And so now it's in there like that. And while you're at it, uh, go down. Uh, while you're at it, make this that you just have a solid. Oh, you can't. Okay, never mind. I was going to say that you can make that, but I just realized you can't. So now that you have this, uh, it's in place. What, what you want to do is you want to drag it a little bit out. So like just there. So once you have that, you can drag it a little bit out like that. So you need to have a little bit of um, hole outside of, of that red structure. So for that, I'm going to go down so you can see where it has that dark spacing. That's how you know that it's coming out. See on this side, it hasn't. So I'm going to grab that square and I'm going to pull it out a little bit that's good there and then now on the top like that so now the whole way around it should all have those back squares so now you have that that's a good that's good what you want to do is you're going to do a duplicate of it five times so control one two three four five so i did control d5 so i get control d five times and you want to go shift hold you're gonna move it across this and you can space them however you want so I'm gonna space mine like that so so just like that that's how I'm gonna do mine you can do yours however you want so like that and once you have that just select all of it and then group so now you should have something like that okay all right so now we only have one more a couple more steps until we finish this all right so now we only have a couple more steps so what we're gonna do is you want to select both these the cylinder and this structure and you want to align it so align it like that and it should like pop into there so because I haven't made my holes because I haven't made my uh, dents in the circles that we did before earlier that you put them across here because they're not so deep they're kind of like um, it's gonna be kind of hard to put them in so it's only the top bits visible like there so I'll show you how to do that in a second if you've made that mistake like me so I'm just going to put it in there like that 
and you can shorten it like that and on both sides like that so now it's like this I mean it looks like pretty cool tread to me like if you wanted to do this you go ahead like I'm not stopping you it looks pretty cool to me um actually might leave it like that it does you know your tread could be anything so feel free to do whatever you want when making this tread it only the only bit of the revolving bit is like making the cylinder and fitting it into the outer cylinder so we're gonna leave I'm, I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna um, finish it up for you guys so now that we have it like this you want to group it um, so it's like that and make it multicolor because as I said earlier I'm just one of those people and so what you want to do is you want to um, grab out a cylinder another cylinder uh, make this 90 degrees oops that's not 90 degrees uh, that is though um, and then you're going to make this however big you made this so if I, if I ungroup that if I ungroup that and I highlight this angle that is 29 grab that back back together again so that's that's 29 I'll make this 29, 29, enter, 29, enter, and then 29, enter, so that's now 29, I can, oh. alright, so what I can do is I'm just going to make this grey, and what I'm going to do is you're going to select this and select your two shapes. You want to align them again. Align them up like that. So you sh it should be in this position. And what you simply can just do is slide it. Or well, you could just come down and sides. Remember in the last video how I said you can make them um, 64 sides. Make them 64 sides here. It um, makes it look a lot better. So you just want to slide it in there like that. And so on this side, you don't see the red. The um, you don't see the red inside structure. So on that side you don't, and on that side you don't. I'm just going to shorten this a little bit and group it, and then you're done. Uh, you can make holes or um, customize it like I did with that one. I did a little bit of a hole in it. That I didn't do any singular tread, but anyway, guys, this is it. This is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. It supports me a lot. Uh, comment if you have any video video ideas. Um, I'm always out there and I'll take your ideas in. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!